here back at you with yet another DJ Brew 2 beer review. Well, I'm outside cooking on the grill today, guys, and it's hotter than Hades. And I said, you know what? I need a refreshing style today. And I was looking in the fridge. I was like, you know, I got some like some fruit ales in there. I've got some Hepavites in. I've got some lagers, you know, some premium lagers, that kind of thing. I said, you know what? I want something that maybe the French farmers and Belgian farmers drink. I want a Saison. So where am I going to get, get that Saison? I'm going to go to Pretty Things Brewery out of Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I'm going to have their Jack de Ur. Saison. Now, this is a year-round serving, 6.4% ABV and 45 IBUs. Here's the bottle. There's Jack de Or on the front, and they say on the label back here, they got a nice little story. Jack de Or is like the little barley dude, all golden and pretty, standing alone in the forest, blah, 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 blah. So, this beer has been in the refrigerator for a little while. I forgot about it, and this is actually a bottle that was bottled on in March of 2012. Now, Pretty Things is a, a gypsy brewer, and I think this one might have been brewed at the Ipswich Brewing Company. Um, yeah, because they're, they're out of Massachusetts, so they go to Ipswich, which isn't too far from there. Clown Shoes brews there, you know, that's where Smutty Nose is out of, you know, and, and those guys. I think also uh, Brash uh, brews out of there. So, anyways, um, in this particular beer... It's a sides on, a Belgian style sides on, but it's a take on it. Why? Because there's no sugar in it and there's no spices like in a lot of maybe Belgian sides on sometimes. It's an all barley beer. They're using four types of yeast in here and they're saying on the label here up front that it's got a bitter backbone and a dry herbal character leading to a semi-sweet dry finish. So, you know what? Let's see if that's all true. Get this cap popped, get it in the glass, and get it in my mouth. Let's see what we got going on. Nice hiss off the top. It's not exploding. We like that. Sometimes these side zones will go a little cuckoo on you. Look at that. Yeah. Nice, rich, golden color coming out of there like you expect out of side zone. I got a bomber, so I can pour, pour this one deep today. All right. Well, I can smell the yeast wafting off the top of this bad boy already. Okay. Very side zone like We got a nice, solid three-finger head on this. Super tight khaki bubbles. They're actually darker than off-white. Um, when I swirl it, I only got a little bit of room at the top, so I'm getting mm, some little bit of alcohol legs, actually. It is 6.5%, and maybe a little tiny bit of glass lacing, but um, the head's dissipating a little bit. We're down to two fingers, like typical of a side's on. It's cloudy, also typical. It's a cloudy, golden sort of amber color. There's some orange hues in there. It's a really nice looking beer. It's got that Belgian strong ale look almost. Let's move our bottle over here. You can see our buddy Jack DeOr here waiting for us to drink it. Head's gone down a little bit now. Let's get an aroma on this, see what's going down. Man, that's nice. Herbal, spicy, floral. A nice sweetness, like an undertone, an underpinning in there. You can tell, I guess I've read it, but you can tell there's multiple yeast in there because you got a spice going on, a sweetness, and some other like yeast character on in there. But it's a really nice smelling beer. The, the combination I like in this, there's a honey sweetness with like floral in there, almost like wildflower. And then you have like a spiciness going on as well from the yeast. Really nice smelling beer. I'm thirsty now, man, and I've been sweating it out on the uh, patio barbecuing. Let's see what we got going on, guys, and the taste. There is a hoppy bitterness in there. So that herbalness I must be getting, excuse me, was uh, that, that herbal hoppiness. It's got a it has a really nice sweetness in it, especially considering the fact that they say directly we haven't used any sugar in this. So they've used a buttload of malt in this beer. Wow, that's tasty. Man, this is one of the better takes on the size on that I've ever had. Look at that glass lacing, guys. This is a well put together beer. The carbonation is spot on. It's velvety smooth. It's a full medium mouth feel, and as you drink it, it coats your mouth, and you got that sort of honeysuckle taste almost in your mouth, underlying with a bit of spiciness in the back end. It is dry. It's not a wet beer, but it's not super dry like a, like a white wine or anything. Um, it's not vinous like uh, some sides on can be at times, but, man, I, they did a really good job on this beer. This is quite tasty. Wow. That's one of the better tasting sides ons that I've had. Now, I like sides on DuPont maybe a little bit better, but this is a take on it. It's an American version. But really lovely beer. All right, you can see I'm geeking out a bit on this one. I'm thirsty, 
you know, and this is really, I think, the setting to drink this beer when I'm thirsty. I've been out in the heat because that's what these beers were meant to be, refreshers. But this one's got bigger flavor than a lot of Saison's that I've, uh, that I've grappled with, from the States anyway. A lot of the Belgian ones and everything, those do have big flavor, as you know. So, anyways, Rape Beer is given a 96, and I can see why people would maybe give this a 96. Um, so I'm not going to tell them to take the piss today, maybe another day. Beer Advocates give it a 91. I think it is better than a 91, but I don't know if it's a 96 level. I'm going to give this an A. I'm going to give it a 94. I think it's a really well put together beer. I would definitely buy this again. Um, it's made with quality ingredients, and you can tell when you drink this beer. You guys know what I'm saying. There was no corners cut when this beer was made by the taste. and the this It's true to the style, but it is a twist because there's not that sugar and spice in there like there are sometimes existing. So, anyways, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my reviews all the time. Your support's what keeps me going. Plus, I'm a beer drinking fool. Anyways, thanks a million for watching. Remember the important thing to think globally and drink locally and support the craft beer movement. Keep this thing growing. Support these gypsy brewers like uh, like uh, Pretty Things. Maybe they'll put their, up their own bricks and mortar one day. Who knows if that's their thing. Anyways, like I said, thanks a million again. Until the next DJ's Brew Tube, damn, that's a big peace out.